Uh, yo, yo, what it is, what it do, what it is, good, Looney Plit. So, you know, welcome back to another video. Yo, I'm looking forward to this one. Happy Sunday. I hope you're staying safe, staying blessed. Now, I know a lot of y'all were waiting on a merciful servant video, but don't worry about that. I still got that in the pipeline. Don't watch that. It will be out soon. As always, man, I hope you're staying safe, staying blessed. And without further ado, I know what time it is. I know you do too, right? So, let's do this, shall we? Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Luke's top five in the building. Last one was top okay. five ghosts caught on camera. I'm hoping this one's about dancing bell. with the dead. Eleven years ago, Tony Noguera recorded a short video of his son Elijah dancing to a Green Day song that was playing on their TV. All he right. uploaded the video to his YouTube channel, and for years the video went mostly unnoticed. Eleven years that ago. Is until Tony's footage was shared on Reddit, and hundreds of Reddit users agreed on one thing. There's something truly bizarre going on in this video. Dan. Dan, look at Liza. Go like this. Liza. Hey, like this. Liza, look it. Hey. Liza, go like this. What are you dancing to? Uh, some Green Day? Dance, go. Did you see it? No. Right behind little Elijah, what looks like the dark shadowy figure of a child can be seen. Just kind of standing there watching the family. Huh, okay, so I thought it was like a doll. What what the fuck? I didn't see it at all in the behind original video. little Elijah, what looks like the dark shadowy figure of a child can be seen. Just kind of standing there watching the family. See, to me. A few seconds later, and the child disappears. Well, shit. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely not a fucking doll. <laughs> the hope that was not a doll, bro. I need to run this one back. I'm sorry. I, I need to run it back again. Elijah, go like this. Elijah, hey, like this. Elijah, look it. Hey. Elijah, go like this. Yo, people got some proper eagle eyes, yo. The fact that, well, could it not have been, hang on. Has he got a brother or sister, anything like that, that could explain it? Otherwise, that is hella creepy. Oh, no. Now, let me know in the dance. comments what you think. Dance, go. Did you see it? Right behind little Elijah. What looks like the dark, shadowy figure of a child Bad can be seen. Fan. Just kind of standing there, watching the family. A few seconds later, and the child disappears. Even creepier, right after the small, shadowy figure is seen, a strange, unexplained, childlike giggle can be heard. Elijah, go like this. Is this what I'm saying? Is it... Has he got brothers, sisters, anything like that that could pro possibly explain that in a sense? I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this one. Now, I reached out to Tony Noguera personally, and he says that he has no idea who or what this unexplained figure might be. But the fact that it's been there. his house does have a very creepy history. It's been on the Tony's internet house for like 11 years. In Reno, Nevada, and the property on which the neighborhood was built used to be an old graveyard back in the 1960s. I could explain so could it. this creepy apparition be the ghost of a child buried on the community grounds long ago? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Really haunted. Lee from the YouTube channel Really Haunted says that his house in England is a hot spot for ah, strange this guy's paranormal back. activity. For over two years, Lee and his family have witnessed and captured terrifying events caught on static cameras that are I don't already the left this place now, bro if you're a long time nuke stop by viewer you've probably seen some of Lee's scary poltergeist moments in my videos and well things have only gotten worse late one night Lee is fast asleep in bed when his hallway and bedroom static cameras capture something downright chilling
Jesus. Fuck, I was not expecting that, bro. <laughs> that looks like his, uh, his wife and kids are still sleeping out. Uh, in, I think they were in a caravan in the driveway or something like that. I don't blame them, but I'd have definitely sold this house and moved elsewhere. But then again, I don't know if it's attached to him personally or whether it's the house itself, if you believe in that stuff that is. But yeah, if this is me, I, this, uh, this house would be on the market. I'm gone. So I thought I heard something in the background. Must be a TV, right? Because it sounds like there's talking, so you must have a TV on. It must be a TV. I'm gonna turn it off here. See if y'all can hear it. And you, obviously, you can just hear him sleeping. Turn this shit down again. Uh, there's an orb. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Right. Roger that. So, my guy... Right, so if you look at the top right here, you see like an orb come down. As soon as it lands there, he wakes up. Interesting. Very interesting. A shadow figure seems to slowly rise from the floor in the hallway and then inexplicably zooms upwards into the ceiling. Lee says that whatever this strange shape was, it actually knocked open the attic door. The sounds you hear in the video are the attic door being violently pushed open and then just moved around. Then later we cut to Lee's bedroom and now whatever is in the attic seems to be moving Lee's overhead lamp around. But things get even weirder. Because a few days later, Lee's wife Stacy is home and fast asleep in bed when she experiences oh, they're back something in the house then. absolutely terrifying. What's going to happen? Oh, there's a shadow. I don't know if y'all can see it because my camera's in the way, but just here. Did you see it? Oh, shit. Hey, right, go and explain that. We all out there who don't believe it, explain that. Shit. It's a little hard to catch, but when the footage is sped up, you can clearly see another unexplained shadowy mass slowly floating towards Stacy uh -huh. before it violently yanks her hair. Surprisingly, the seemingly painful incident didn't wake her, and Stacy says she doesn't remember any of it. After viewing the footage, the couple was understandably pretty freaked out. Okay. Lee says that this is the most terrifying footage that he has ever caught. Because it seems that whatever is haunting his home is becoming more and more violent and aggressive. I highly recommend that you check out all of Lee's paranormal experiences over on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. This is what I'm going to say for those who are going to be like, I don't believe this shit. Well, explain how her hair was plugged like that. With nobody around. I mean, there's going to be people say string. Possibly, I suppose. But to be yanked like that and her not wait. I don't know. This is, well, I don't know, bro. <laughs> As always, man, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, personally, I don't know any way of being able to replicate that. String, with that, that force, you're going to see the string. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think about this one. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something Very great, interesting. contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The things in the woods. Why you got in woods? What? Just don't do it. Don't do it. This next mysterious video was sent to the popular Japanese YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. 
They explained that there was no extra information attached to the email in which the video file was shared. They tried reaching out to the sender, but they got no reply back. In the video, a man appears to be walking through the woods, seemingly looking for someone. Why? What happens next is absolutely horrifying. Why would you be out there this time of night? You're looking for something cool and what? I missed it. I think I missed it. Oh, there, I see that. There's two. In There's the two. distance, what appears to be a tree branch can be seen moving bizarrely oh, on its okay. own. And shortly after, the man spots two translucent things walking out of the dark forest. One large figure and one small. I'm not sure about this one, fam. Now, some people in Fourth Wall's comment section suspect that the man might be looking for someone inside the infamous Aoki Gihara Forest, the same forest where many Japanese men and women take their own lives. But what do you think? You can watch many more creepy videos of strange ghostly sightings over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. They're all kind of the same. Do, do all of them not kind of look the same, though? like a white translucent mist right i don't know I, i'm i'm not sure about that one y'all let me know in the comments below what you think about that one but personally i'm um leaning towards not believing it but uh, i'm sure somebody out there's gonna tell me otherwise nukes top five viewer rocky reached out to me about a video his sister took at their family now got viewer videos Florida. should rocky be interesting your home might be haunted as the family has witnessed their tv turning on by itself Glasses suddenly breaking, and the voice of an older man coming from somewhere inside their house. Even stranger, Rocky claims that they have seen glimpses of strange shadow figures throughout the house. Rocky says that their home is in a bit of a bad neighborhood where many horrible crimes have taken place. He says that he wonders if their home could have been the site of some tragic event that caused the haunting. One day, Rocky's sister Jay believes she saw yet another shadow figure in the bathroom of their house and begins to record with her phone. What she captures is truly bizarre. Uh, what? There was like a shadow here, wasn't there? Did you see it? Yeah, that's what I was As thinking. She's playfully switching back and forth between her phone's selfie and front camera. She catches what appears to be a very strange shadow right behind her brother. Now, when analyzing this footage, it should be noted that Rocky is holding a large cup in his right hand, virtually eliminating the possibility that this strange shadow might be his own arm. At the speed that the shadow flies upwards, it seems very unlikely that Rocky would be throwing his beverage up like that. There's also nothing behind Rocky that could explain the sudden appearance and disappearance of the shadow. There's only a teddy bear. So just what? I I don't know what this is. I have no fucking idea. I have no idea what this could be. I don't know, I'm baffled. I don't know. I can't figure anything out. I, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below what you think. I was expecting something to be in a bathroom, man.
This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes <laughs> Top 5 viewer who has a family member who works at the Huntington County Historical Museum in Indiana. The Huntington Museum is home to a collection of Indiana historical artifacts and sits right next to the Old Town Railroad track. And to me, I'm just saying, ancient historical artifacts plus building near creepy old railroad equals it's it's probably haunted yeah <laughs> right, let's take a closer look possibly one day when the museum is closed and empty the security camera motion detector is triggered by something when the staff checks the footage they are shocked by what they find oh shit okay y'all see that in this corner here A dark mass can be seen darting towards the staircase in the back and then quickly disappearing back into the darkness. Now some might say that this is simply a digital glitch and that this figure is maybe just a person moving too quickly for the camera to pick up clearly. Who the fuck is it? The flash? However, note that at the exact same moment, a car passes by the glass door nearby and the car can be seen in pretty crisp detail. But as for the dark mass, there are no visual details at all. It's just an odd, shapeless black mist. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Even creepier, the shadow figure is very small, about the size of a young child. But what do you think? Is the Huntington Museum haunted? You decide. That's, yeah, I mean, they talk about maybe it being somebody moving too fast for the camera. What? <laughs> the fuck are they going at? What type of pace are they? Would they have to walk, run at to be a blur on it? They're going on like this. Things the flash, bro. Honestly, but you know, this interesting. I, I was just thinking when I first saw it, how small the shadow actually was compared, because it was like up to here on a bookcase. I think this is a bookshelf, maybe. But it was like up to here, wasn't it? Not very tall, is it? So yeah, I mean, realistically, that could be. A child spirit realistically it could be something a lot more explainable but i don't know i don't know it's interesting very Good interesting friends jay and gino are hanging out having a few drinks at jay's home in england then this happens what the f fuck that's the bottom of the glass gone My man's wearing umbro, you know. Jay's CCTV camera <laughs> captures the moment when one of the glasses sitting on the table mysteriously shatters into yeah, pieces. Yeah, so that kind of looks like, I don't know if it's a cider glass, I don't know if it's a wine glass. Or it looks more like a cider glass. It looks, I don't know. To me, it looks like a cider glass. But, you know the bottom round part of a glass? You've got the stem, then you got it goes into the, the glass itself. That there is just literally just shattered, bruv. And I, I, I don't know how to, how would that happen? How would that happen? Y'all are smart than me. Y'all let me know why the shit like this happens. Because I can't grasp my head around it. How the bottom of it would just shatter. For no reason. Now Jay has no explanation for this creepy event. But a few and days it shattered later. shattered violently as well. things just get weirder. That one as well. Oh, is that a... Me sideways. Oh, you know. This time, the two friends both witness another glass explode on the table right in front of them. Jay explained in his email that he's experienced a few other strange things, but nothing. I really hope concern. that's not wine, due to the fact that he's got like a cream rug. That would be a piss take to get red wine out of a cream rug. Shit, unlucky lads. Now, honestly, I'm not that's exactly sure what's causing Jay's glasses <laughs> to just randomly explode. Is it paranormal? Or does the glassware manufacturer just need to do a product recall on Jay's shitty glasses? You decide. After school, paranormal investigator Criselle Luna gets the unique chance to investigate a very old public oh, school in Mexico off. that is said to be haunted. Now, most allegedly haunted locations that I talk about on this channel have long been abandoned yeah, or deserted. Y'all know me. I don't like 
kid ghosts, bro. They freak me out. I better not hear no giggles, no running, no fucking banging. Well, banging, I don't mind banging on the desk and shit. That'd be cool. But I don't want to hear no child talking. None of that nonsense. But this particular school is still in use. What? In fact, the old school building is only temporarily shut down because of the current health situation around the world. So shortly after her arrival, Chrisel interviews a woman named Isabel who has worked as a cleaner and caretaker at the school for many years. Right. Isabel claims to have seen bizarre shadows walking the school hallways and has heard strange unexplained noises throughout the building. She explains that the school was founded by a teacher named Magana, a man who lost his life inside one of the school's classrooms. Locals say that they see his ghost walking the school grounds very often at around 5 in the afternoon and it is said that he picks up chairs and smashes them against the floor in anger. Chriselle is joined Raw. by her friend Melissa as they start their investigation inside the classroom where the teacher Magana is said to have passed away. When Chriselle asks for a sign, things take a very bizarre turn. Y con todo respeto a mí me gustaría pedirle, de verdad con todo respeto a su energía por todo lo que se dice, porque se dice que él habita aquí, porque se dice que todavía lo ven aquí, que todavía él avienta cosas con mucho enojo, como nos contaba la señora Isabel, ¿por qué no lo sabemos? Pero sí, de verdad, a mí me gustaría pedir algo, una manifestación de su energía, si es que él estuviera aquí, de verdad, sé que estoy jugando tal vez con fuego, pero nadie entra aquí de noche y yo estoy haciéndolo hoy, Porque quiero saber. Ay, ahí se escucha algo. Se escu... Ay, ay, ¿qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué fue? Se está escuchando algo. ¿Tú viste, Melissa? No, algo se está moviendo. Algo se está moviendo. Pero muy negro. Ay, no manches, es, es este mi sabanco. Pe... Ay, ay, no, 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 no. Se está moviendo. Ven, 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 ven. I'm expecting this chair to get picked up and dashed against the wall. One of the classroom's desks suddenly begins to move on its own. Could it be that the ghost of teacher Magana is moving it? Maybe trying to pick it up and throw it to the floor? Either way, the movement is very slight. After this scary experience, Crisel and Melissa head over to investigate a different classroom inside the old school building okay. that they believe is haunted by the child ghosts of former students. And this is when things start to get really creepy. Puedo sentir mucho más frío, de verdad se los digo, mucho más frío que en el otro salón que es donde murió el profesor. Se siente helado y no sé por qué, muchísimo más baja la temperatura aquí. So I got about seeing apparition of a kid. Pienso, Melissa, de verdad es como si aquí. Eh, I'm probably gonna scream like a bitch. El alma de un niño o de varios niños, porque tal vez uno de ellos o varios que vinieron porque es una escuela muy vieja ya perdieron la vida y puede ser también que ellos eh, vengan aquí por ay no, 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 no. se movió se movió este niño ay no manches hijo se acaba de mover no me tienen que ir no hay que tocarlo a school book moves on its own giving both Crisel and Melissa a bit of a fright but they continue their investigation when they find the school's library wait anybody else notice when that book moved there's like an orb that flashed up next to it. Look, if you watch the book carefully when it moves. You see like an orb go up. School book moves on its own, giving there. both Chris uh, and Melissa maybe not, a bit maybe of not. a fright. No. But they continue their They're investigation. When they find fault. the school's library, they also find something terrifying. Vamos a entrar. Este parece que es como una biblioteca. Será Meli una biblioteca? Parece ser una biblioteca. Vean como hay poquitos libros. Tampoco son muchos, estamos hablando. Hay algunos más que están arrumbados. Pero es una escuela. Miren, ahí se ve la luz prendida de la oficina que les decía justamente a la que no podemos pasar, ¿no? Pero eh, vamos a. ¡Ah! 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 I missed it. I didn't see it. 
Giselle and Melissa are shocked when they see oh, a dark shit. figure walking the hallway okay. right outside of the library. They're like he's wearing a hoodie with a hat on. The hall, there's no one there. The mysterious shadow figure has just disappeared into thin air. So is the well, somebody wearing a hoodie and a hat? The spirit of teacher Maganya? And could the ghosts of former students be haunting the empty classrooms? You let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel, Crisel Luna. You're like a paranormal investigator, I take it, man. All right, yo. <laughs> I don't know about that last one. To me, it looked like somebody who's had a hat on with a hood up, slowly walked past, but I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. Again, not the scariest Nuke Top 5. I don't know whether I'm just getting so used to doing Nuke Top 5 that they're just not as scary as they used to be. Or the fact that I've been doing the Abbey Adventures and they're a little bit more scary. That I'm not as bothered by the Nuke Top 5 videos. Still enjoyed it, as always. I always enjoyed Nuke Top 5 videos. Got a love of Nuke Top 5. But, yeah. I've seen better. But it, this was a lot better than last week's one. 100%. But, yeah. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Like I said, Merciful Sam will be back. Then I'll probably do it tomorrow. I'm off, so I might, I might do it tomorrow. If not, it will definitely be even next Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Remember, I, I don't really have a schedule what I upload. I just upload whatever I'm in the mood to record at the time. So, yeah. Stay safe, stay blessed, man. I'll catch you next video. See you host local. Out. Later. Ciao.